Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ellis Ricketts. I'm a graphic designer, illustrator, and 3D modeler currently working in the film industry as a concept artist. Uh, today I'm going to be switching up the style and bang out a dope graffiti inspired piece. And I got some goodies to show you. I went on a little Amazon spree, so I have sort of an art haul, I guess you would call it. And I'll be testing out the stuff I got today to make this piece. I'm imagining it to be like very sketchy and rugged, like with some textures and grunge style to it. So yeah, right here we got this Duralar um, paper. It's kind of like clear. It says on the package that it's good with ink. It accepts lead and pencil, colored pencil. And uh, yeah, it, it just, it, it cuts well and the art erases easily if you need it to. Yeah, so I got, I got this and I'm gonna test it out. It was kind of expensive, it was like $50. There's only 25 sheets in here. Flip through this. They f it feels like smooth, like soft. Like, I don't know if you've ever had one of those Kleenex tissues with lotion in them. Uh, it kind of feels like it has a lotion. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's really soft and nice to the touch. Like, it feels really nice. I know I keep going on about how it feels, but it feels really nice. It's kind of clear. You can see see right through it. You can see my fingers. It's um stiff. It's, it's like very thick. Look at that. You can see my fingerprints right through it. The sweat. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even sweating, but I don't know why it's it looks like it's sweating but I don't know maybe it's like how it holds moisture something like that it's really nice I saw it on another artist's Instagram post so I got it I'm trying to test it out this right here so I saw this cover all Molotow marker um, while I was studying calligraphy and oh my god it just caught my eye so I had to have it it says here the masterpiece is $18 and made in Germany, another Germany item. They make good art items, I guess. Yeah, look at it. Cover all, covers all, signal black, 60 millimeters. It's big, awesome. So pop that off. It's like a brush. It's like a, a thick, it's like a thick brush. Oh, you, you push it? Yeah, you push it and you know, once you push it enough, the ink will come out and then you can just start writing. So I also got this Presto whiteout pen. It's a fine tip. And so this will help me like draw highlights and stuff like that. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so this is good for highlights. <laughs> Presto fine point jumbo collection. So it's got a lot in there. The pack came with six that I bought. And yeah, it's nice. I like it. I, I don't, I'm probably not gonna use it for corrections. I'll just use it for like I said, highlights, things like that. Pentel, multi-purpose ozone safe. I don't know what that means, but I trust it. There's a close-up of the tip. I'll also have all these in Amazon links down below in the description if you wanna purchase these yourself and check them out and try them for yourself. So make sure you check the description. So yeah, that's the Presto. I'm just gonna wipe this off my fingers. I don't wanna get stuff on everything else. All right, so this right here is another calligraphy pen, I guess, um, the Parallel Pilot Pen. I bought it as well when I was studying calligraphy. This is the box that came with like other pieces, like some red ink, came with this dropper, I guess. And this is how it looks when you write. So I just tested it out on the box there. So yeah, that's the Pilot Parallel Pen. Let me just twist the lid here and show you guys the tip. So yeah, it's got like two panels right here. They're like two plates kind of pressing each other. And I guess the ink goes down through that little tube there and then in between the ink and then when you write, it will release the ink on the page. You can kind of see the two clamps there. It's, a, it's very interesting. I've never seen like a little tool like this. So. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see? Very cool. People make really cool inventions. 
there's a lot of cool stuff out there if you just look so yeah that's the uh, calligraphy pen I got you know I showed you guys these before but I really love these brush markers this one here is different than the ones I usually use this is a fine tip I didn't even know they made the fine tips the Pentel brush pen so yeah this is the uh it's not actually it doesn't paint blue it paints black but yeah and I really like using these they have really good range you can get different textures and different like thicknesses when you brush if you have really good line control this here is the um, just the regular sized one in black um, this is the one I use often this one's brand new I haven't opened it yet I opened the other one I haven't opened this one yet yeah I guess I'll, sh I'll show you how to how to get started with these so you twist this off this top off and then you get rid of this red blocker and then you just twist it back on and it's weird because it twists backwards like you know lefty loosey righty tighty it's like the opposite so it's confusing it can be confusing at first but yeah you just twist it backwards and then it will release the ink so you just give it a little squeeze on the tube here and then you can see the ink kind of blotching through the pipes and bloop. Oop. yeah that's that one another another thing I bought here is the uh, Copic sketch markers this is a 12 pack 12 different colors from 00, zero from W00 zero zero to W10 it's just like a grayscale but it's the warm grayscale markers so yeah these will be really nice to use They're still in the package too I haven't even opened them yet I love Copic sketch they're, they're really high quality marker they're most expensive this atlas actually cost more than a hundred well, a little bit more than a hundred dollars shh don't tell wifey yeah let's just cut this open here Boom. pull this off yeah <laughs> I can't wait to use these throw that out we don't need that no more yeah let me pop the lid off so you guys can see the dual tip so on one side it's like that and then the other side is like this more control but the other one is like a brush oops um so we got another Copic sketch pack but this one's a six pack which is also kind of expensive this one's like $55 I believe it's, it's a lot I know for markers but they're the nicest markers I've ever had the pleasure of using and I'm just gonna collect them every once in a while I'll get a pack until I have more colors these are the skin tone colors so they'll all probably work very well together yeah, it's so just different ranges. Tea Rose Copper, Dark Suntan, Barley Beige, uh, Cotton Pearl, and Pale Fruit Pink. Interesting names. I like the names. So yeah, those are the Copic Sketch Skin Tone Pack of six.
Okay guys, so that's it. I didn't get to use the uh, Copic sketch markers very much because the paint was kind of taking up all the space. There wasn't really much space on the page to do it. I didn't expect the Molotel marker to take up so much of the canvas. And then I had to paint something over top of it so that I can draw on a lighter surface than the black that it left. But I really like the textures that it left. I like the um, squiggly, bubbly, feeling that the um, calligraphy pen left on the page too. It's very, very scratchy. I just want it to look very sketchy and cool at the same time and very detailed as well. So this piece was really fun. But anyway, yeah, guys, if you um, like this kind of content, you want to see more awesome art, give me a like, give me a comment down below. Tell me what kind of style you like. I'm really good at emulating styles too, so I can try different styles if you guys are interested. Um, yeah, so cool piece. And also, if you want to try out some of these tools that I got, you can check the Amazon links down below in the description. I got a, the whole list for you laid out nice and easy. Click the link and then you can read about it yourself or purchase it if you want. Um, I didn't get to use the Copic sketch markers. So uh, the next video I'll do is just going to be using those. So yeah, I'll test those out and see what kind of cool art I can do with those. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching and peace. Thank you.